Radon is a radioactive gas that can seep into your home from the ground up. You can't see it, you can't smell it, and it's the second leading cause of lung cancer. Let's clear up five common myths about radon for the health of you and your family. Radon myth number one, radon isn't dangerous. Elevated radon in your house, school, or workplace is very dangerous. In fact, it is a radioactive gas. Radon is a byproduct of the natural decaying process of uranium in soil and rocks. I said uranium. Radon occurs naturally in the environment in trace amounts, but outside it has lots of space and it disperses quickly, so the concentration is generally very low and safe. Inside though, it can get trapped and concentration levels can become high and unsafe. Those alpha particles released can damage the lungs and cause lung cancer in both people and animals. Children are actually two times more susceptible than adults with the same level of exposure. Because radon is odorless and colorless, the only way to know for sure what the radon levels are in your home is to have it tested. As I mentioned before, radon is the second leading cause for lung cancer, and it accounts for about 2,900 deaths per year in non-smokers. So if someone tells you radon isn't dangerous, you tell them they're dead wrong. Radon myth number two, and probably the most common misconception about radon. I don't have a basement, so there's no way I have elevated radon levels in my house. Unfortunately, many people mistakenly think that only homes with basements are at risk for unsafe radon levels, and it's just not true. All homes, no matter the foundation, are at risk. For basement homes, there are certainly a lot of possible entry points for radon, such as porous foundation walls or a sump well. If you're on a crawl space, whether it's dirt, poured concrete, or even covered with a vapor barrier, radon can still enter your home. People are most surprised to learn that homes on a concrete slab are also at risk for high radon levels. In fact, the highest radon measurement I've seen was actually in a condo on a concrete slab. It was so high, in fact, that the inspector actually retested, assuming it was just a bad read but it wasn't, and the radon mitigation was required. The moral of the story, you can't assume you are radon free just because your house doesn't have a basement. I've said it before, but the only way to know for sure what the radon levels are in your home is to have it tested. Radon myth number three. Radon's not a problem for new construction, right? Wrong. And let me just say that testing the soil before construction is not an indicator of what the radon levels will be once the home is complete. Good news for new construction though, radon resistant construction is a thing. Builders can take preventative measures to seal those pesky places where radon likes to enter before and during construction for just a fraction of the cost of fixing the problem later. Many homes are now built with a passive ventilation system to help vent air up and out of the home. Then after the house is built, if elevated radon is detected, it is much easier and much more cost effective to just convert those passive systems to active ones. That can save a homeowner a whopping 2,000 bucks or more on radon mitigation. As a reminder, the EPA recommends all homes even new construction be tested for radon. Radon myth number four. I can't afford radon testing. If you're buying a new home and already paying for a home inspection, many inspectors will actually discount the radon inspection, sort of a bundle deal. Usually the cost for that is just $150 to $200. If you already own your home and you wanna have a standalone radon inspection, it could cost around $350, still not that much. You do have a free option, although not as thorough or accurate as an inspection performed by a professional radon inspector. 
the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation will send you a free test kit that you can perform yourself in your own home. Only one kit is allowed per household and it can sometimes take up to eight weeks to arrive. They do provide instructions on placement and procedures, so it may be a good place to start. Considering the potential risk that radon poses for you and your family and the low cost or free option, I have to ask you, what are you waiting for? Radon myth number five. I'm pretty sure radon isn't a problem where I live. My neighbor had a radon inspection and it was just fine. I know that seems logical, but your neighbor's radon levels are not necessarily the same as yours. They can actually vary greatly from house to house based on soil composition, ventilation, construction materials, or the type of your foundation. The threshold for unsafe radon is four picocuries per liter. Now those are just fancy words that measure radioactivity. Remember the number four. Let's get local. According to Tennessee.gov, there were 872 radon tests reported by Knox County with an average radon level of 3.9. Remember four, just below that unsafe threshold. Now Blount County, there were 160 tests reported with an average radon level there of 4.8. And then in Sevier County, they reported 150 tests with an average radon level of 6.5. All three counties had tests reported that were close to or even above 100. Remember four is unsafe. That's not good. Guess what? The only way to know for sure what the radon levels are in your home is to have it tested. I compiled the research for this video using primarily these three websites. Now, if you want to connect with a local expert for your own radon inspection, I am more than happy to share a few names of local inspectors that I've worked with and trust. No, I do not get kickbacks or commissions for making that referral. My contact information is in the description below. I'm Leanne Johnson. Be safe, be blessed, and love where you live.